Claire is a breastfeeding expert extraordinaire and your clients have included uh, Kate Winslet, Kate Beckinsale, Helena Bonham Carter, Lily Allen Mention and important well. people like you, Bryony. I think in many ways the latching is the be all and end all of breastfeeding. If you latch the baby on badly, it hurts and the baby can't get enough milk out. If you latch the baby on correctly, it really doesn't hurt right from day one. The mother can have the nipple sticking out so the baby can latch on, but every suck the baby does on the nipple really hurts the mother and the baby can't get the milk out properly. Mothers can also have flat nipples, so here it's hard for the baby to latch on at all because there's almost nothing for the baby to grab hold of. Now what mothers are taught to do now is to line the baby up nose to nipple, wait for the baby to open his mouth really wide and then he goes on crookedly like that. Lots of babies don't know they're meant to open their mouths wide mm -hmm. so the mothers are on the phone to me saying but Claire he doesn't open his mouth at all. Um, but even if he does he's still going to come on crookedly with that method and bend the nipple over and so on. And with the nose to nipple, if the mother hasn't got a nipple sticking out at all, the baby just can't grab hold of anything. Okay. So what I teach, which is the complete opposite to everyone else, is line the baby up mouth to nipple. Okay. And then, instead of expecting the baby to open his mouth wide, you want to make your breast smaller. So it's the same principle as trying to post a large parcel into a letterbox. Right. You don't expect the letterbox to open its mouth wide. <laughs> you just squidge the parcel and shove it in. And that's what I say you should do with latching. Okay. So line the baby up mouth to nipple. And you see, if we don't shape, even on this small breast, when the baby's lips hit the breast, the baby can't get any deeper, so the baby sucks like that. But with that exact same open mouth, if you give your breast a jolly good squidge like that, mm. do you see now the baby can get far more in? So I say line the baby up mouth to nipple, shape your breast and shove. And the reason I say shove the baby on is you want to get as much breast as possible into the mouth before the baby closes it. So it's mouth, shape, shove and then stay holding the breast until the baby gets a really good suck going and then you can gradually let go, take your hands away, and there the baby's on. And this is the method I teach everyone. And I know it works because I can demonstrate to the mother instantly that latching the baby on nose to nipple crookedly like that, it hurts. And as soon as I latch the same baby on the same breast, doing my shape and shove, the mother is sort of, I can't believe that is no longer hurting. And that is why I teach what I teach. Mm -hmm.